In this video, we're going to continue with symmetry. So let's take a look back at uh, the last video at line of symmetry. So if you recall, line of symmetry is a line that divides an object into two equal halves. Okay, so an object can have more than one line of symmetry. Remember, if it does just have one line of symmetry, we would say that the figure has bilateral symmetry. All right, and then normally we will make the make lines of symmetry dotted or dashed. And that way we know that it wasn't really part of the original figure. All right, so let's uh, move on and talk about um, a different type of symmetry. So what does it mean when someone says they have done a 360 or a 180? So a 360 means that they've rotated a full revolution all the way around. So whatever way they started facing, they, they're going to end facing that way as well. So they rotated a full circle. If we just did a 180, that means you're going to face the exact opposite direction of the way that you started. So that would be a 180 degree rotation. And we're going to talk about rotating geometric figures. And when we talk about the degrees of rotational symmetry, what we mean is the number of degrees needed to rotate an object so it will look exactly like the original. So when we rotate an object that has rotational symmetry, when we get it to a certain spot, it'll look exactly like it did when we started. It won't look any different. So let's take a look at this picture. In the picture below, determine how many lines of symmetry and degrees of rotational symmetry exist. So for our lines of symmetry, we want to draw in some dotted or dashed lines that divide it exactly in half. So let's let's draw one right down the middle. So now I know the left and the right half are exactly the same. If I folded it in half, they would match up exactly. And then I can draw another line of symmetry here. And then this half here and this half here would be exactly the same. And I can draw another one here. So that's one line of symmetry, two lines of symmetry, three lines of symmetry. And I could draw another one here. Okay, so at any time if you need to pause the video so that you can kind of visualize this. So again, this one I'm going to divide it into this half over here and this half over here. So that would be... Uh, a fourth line of symmetry and then it looks like we could draw one more over here and that would give me five lines of symmetry. So number of lines of symmetry, five. Now when we're talking about degrees of rotation, I like to use arrows to kind of um, show me where it would be rotating from. So if I start at this point, if I rotate about the middle, let's make that red there in the middle. So if I rotate around the middle, if I rotate this until it gets to there, so imagine that we're spinning this figure around the green point in the middle. So I can rotate it to here, and it would look exactly like it did when we started. Or I can rotate it all the way to here, and we'll keep going, rotate again, and again, 
And finally, I could rotate it all the way back to where we started. So if I take this initial point here and rotate it to any of these other green points, the figure is going to look exactly like it does now. So when we're trying to figure out degrees of rotational symmetry, we want to figure out how many times did I have to rotate it to get it back to the beginning. I had one, two, three, four, five. So that means that each time, my degrees of rotation, that is, would be 360 divided by the number of times I had to rotate it to get back to the beginning, which would give me 72 degrees of rotation. All right, so I'm going to end the video here. If you have any questions, make sure you get those answered and uh, move on to the next video where I'll cover a few examples on the next page.